London Welsh were the first to get in their stride in this battle. The Exiles with a penalty from outside half court. And Ross, controversy struck through after just 10 minutes when London Irish number eight, Chris Alla Ufia, was sent off for a spear tackle on replacement centre Seb Jewell. The Tongan now faces another lengthy ban, his sixth in just over two years. He was out for a total of 18 weeks last season after being found guilty of two offences. Gordon Ross added two more penalties to take his Premiership career over the 600-point mark to make the Welsh lead 9-0. Tom Homer, last season's Premiership top scorer, back in goal-kicking form after a knee injury, struck just his second penalty of the season, though, to give the Irish their first points. But one more kick apiece from Ian Humphreys and Ross made it 12-6 to London Welsh at the break. The Irish were reduced to 13 men when Matt Garvey was yellow-carded for a trip early in the second period but they battled away gallantly as London Welsh looked for a score that would clinch this victory. It looked to have come too when Tom Arscott and Nick Scott combined on the left wing. And with the line at his mercy, scrum half Tyson Keats, all he had to do was to fall on the ball to score the try, but he failed. Gordon Ross then kicked a fifth penalty to make it 15-6. Tom Homer reduced it to 59 before the Irish confounded the odds by laying an assault on the London Welsh line for the rest of the game. All they had to show at the end of the day was a losing bonus point. The Welsh winners in the Battle of the Exiles, a valuable victory by 15 points to 9.